Hi, beekeepers. I'm Jim Tew. I write monthly for Bee Culture Magazine. I presently work for the Alabama Cooperative Extension System as Extension Specialist in Beekeeping. I'm retired from OSU, Department of Entomology, where for a good part of my life I was extension there. Uh, it's just that time of the year here, and I, every year I have to photograph it. I, I just have to. I've already got a video that I posted on YouTube, and it's been looked at a lot based on this washboard behavior that bees do. They're doing this behavior in broad daylight, sometimes at night, I'll confirm that, but it's at night also. I've seen them doing this on the glass inside of an observation hive so you could see them with their mouth parts going crazy working on the glass with their ventral surface toward me. Why are they doing this? And for those who think, well, they're putting out propolis or they're putting down an odor or they're modifying the wood surface, uh, no. We're fairly certain that those things are not what's going on. But this is just a conversation. This is just not science. So I don't know. If I knew what, what was happening, I would be a famous person in beekeeping, I guess. But here it is. They're doing the washboard behavior as they do seemingly almost every summer. I got reports from Alabama about, oh, soon to be a month and a half ago that they were washboarding here. It seems to start slowly here in Ohio. Mm, third week in June, and by now, July the 13th, these guys are going crazy. They're just doing everything that you can see them doing. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you some hives that have absolutely no interest in doing this behavior whatsoever. So every year, about this time of the year, this behavior puzzles me. And every year, I usually do something with my series in bee culture, or I put a video on one of the video formats. I'm just drawn to it. Why are they doing this? They stand on their middle leg, hind leg. They go crazy with their front leg. They're lightly touching the surface with their mandibles. Uh, they seem to be stroking it occasionally with their tongue. It's, uh, it's like they're cleaning. But those who have a lot more scientific ability than I have had a look at this and there seems to be no structural difference on the surface of the hive in this case. They're always mostly around an entrance, but not always. All hives don't do it. But the hives that do it seems to be generally around the entrance. Some hives do it with much more vigor, much more gusto. Other hives don't do it at all. And we can't tell that it's a good or a bad thing I can't tell that other than just a curiosity all down through the years, I mean, in old, old, old bee books, this washboarding behavior is mentioned with the usual ramifications of why you'd think they're doing it. But what's happening uh, is still unknown. Look how they almost line themselves in rows. I've had one person suggest that this is something visual, a visual behavior. But I don't see any flight coming and going. You can see some of the bees washboarding along the top edge of the red oxide colored deep underneath. But there they are, up in the handle. So odor field, putting down some kind of odor field. Uh, what? I don't know. But that just went out of focus. I need to tell you, this is a very, very shallow depth of field. And I'm pushing my old video camera to the max. 
so it'll come and go but I've tried to keep it as manually and focus as I could look at this unit right next to it smaller hive is that it is that what causes it in fact it was a package built up nicely absolutely no interest next door right under the J in my name is going is a B that's washboarding and the under the E in my name the first E was a B washboarding but not much there have a look at this down near the entrance a few bees with interest where I opened the hives in hot weather it was a southeastern US thing that I did they washboard there in obvious numbers I staggered the super up top and there they are washboarding there so just about the time you think you can draw some conclusions at the hive right next door that to my knowledge is about as strong just seems to have very little interest in, in doing anything with it there may be a few there putzing around but same hive same yard nothing now I, I do have a slatted rack on that colony and uh, is that it is that why it's not doing anything but you can tell that that colony has no interest and then down on the far end here's one that's trying to get in the game but they really haven't committed to it yet but you can tell there's a few there that are giving it a shot so painted unpainted stained old new if the washboarding urge occurs they seem to do it so again I'm going to have focus issues here in some extent but look at them you can see touching with their with their antennae dragging their mouth parts along with the mandibles uh, lightly licking taking a break had those mandibles open kind of an aggressive posture there for no particular reason that I know of scrubbing polishing touching licking can't tell who's in charge can't tell anybody's in charge there that's just a morass of bees that are basically pointed head downward which means that it's very difficult for me to photograph them I shot a lot of light to this so I've got a light balance problem you see here they're they're working on top of that propolis that's already been laid down and for the people who think that propolis is what's going on propolis application there's no supply chain and I don't know that bees have any way to eat propolis and then regurgitate it in liquid form but uh, go back and look if you want to argue the propolis, propolis route and see if uh, you can see any, pol any propolis on the orbiculars or the pollen baskets or whatever so right there you can tell some of those bees are working it oddly with that mandibular action antennae right down on the thing so every year as I do right now I ask what are they doing she sat there by herself and I thought she's going to be doing something soon she's taking a break she get five minutes off so I stayed on her with the camera thinking that she was going to go she teased me for a bit and then apparently she just finally wandered off some are really into it other bees have little interest in it so I'll keep tinkering with it I'll post this on social media devices Vimeo or YouTube or whatever if you have an opinion of what's going on please send it along I've been doing this before others have posted various things uh, I don't want to offend anybody who's posted on my older videos but nothing seemed to be a conclusive answer that's it washboarding behavior I don't know why they're doing it